Yeah, molecular chaperones are important parts of all of our cells. They help protein molecules to fold into their correct shape. Proteins are long chains of amino acids. And in order to fulfill their various functions in the biology of the cell, they need to fold into a well-defined three-dimensional pattern. This is similar to an origami reaction, but at microscopic scale. The chaperones help other protein molecules to fold properly, and in particular they prevent misfolding of proteins and clumping together into aggregates. This is important because these aggregates can be toxic to cells and they can elicit various diseases, mostly neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. The research on chaperones has important implications in medicine, in particular in two areas. The first I already mentioned previously, it has to do with neurodegenerative disorders that affect the brain, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease and other forms, where the nerve cells suffer from the formation of protein clumps or plaques, aggregates, uh, and these cause toxic effects in cells and cause the cells to die. If we could activate molecular chaperones with small molecule drugs, we could perhaps prevent this from happening or delay it from happening. The other area concerns cancer cells. Cancer cells depend on proteins, various proteins that support their growth. And these proteins are oftentimes highly dependent on molecular chaperones. So in this case, we would actually like to inhibit the molecular chaperones and perhaps combine this with other means of chemotherapy.